tip donation for photo. No freebies. No freebies. <laughs> Just remember, the more money you give to us, the more money you will have. It is absolutely impossible to walk from Highland to Orange without being confronted by folks who are looking to make money off of unsuspecting visitors. Virgin Records, they were frustrated by the fact that customers who might have been entering their store to buy legitimate music would be confronted by a phalanx of CD hawkers as they're walking into the store. We have received a lot of complaints from visitors when a CD is thrust in their face or someone confronts them or hands them a CD. I, no, I really don't have to do much love. You can help the Haitian people. You don't feel like Haitian people deserve it, maybe. Or maybe you don't have cash. You'll be back though. If somebody either tries to walk away accepting what looks like a gift and is not willing to pay, they may run up against a very angry person. If they give the CD back saying that they're not interested, they also could be continually harassed to buy it. I need the money. I'm, I'm a struggling artist. The problem that we see is that we have a very small stretch of sidewalk, 12 to 14 feet of the public right of way, along basically one long block face, and there's so many people competing for space. First of all, we've got thousands and thousands of pedestrians, but now also we've got the characters and the CD vendors and tour bus hawkers also competing for a space on the sidewalk in order to conduct their so-called business. The competition for that precious real estate escalates into tension and arguments and threats and, and most frightening violence which has been captured by tourist videos and has been shown throughout the world on YouTube and actually has also resulted in arrests and physical assaults of both innocent people and, and also some of the vendors and characters involved in fights together. Sometimes it might be impossible to secure a licensed character for some kind of event, yet they are quite evident out on the boulevard. And it is surprising to us that the studios and the, the companies who regulate the comic book characters would not have more concern about the cleanliness of the uniforms, about the behavior of the individuals who are wearing their licensed images. Many, many people who come to Hollywood think that these characters are sanctioned by someone. So if you've got a character who has gone around the corner, taken off their mask to smoke a joint, or if they are misbehaving in some way or involved in a brawl or a fight or disrespectful to tourists, it reflects poorly on the company. We have heard from parents who say that their children are afraid to come to Hollywood Boulevard because there are certain characters, either by the way they are dressed, or because they carry certain weapons, or they might have a snake or some other kind of animal, or they are just frightening and intimidating in general. Uh, the parents are upset and will not come to the boulevard. Or in some cases, children would actually cross the street 
and walk on the south side of the street to avoid running into some of the characters who were particularly intimidating. In those instances where somebody has been identified in committing a crime and there's been a stay-away order imposed by the city, it is impossible to know if that person has come back again in violation of that stay-away order if they are wearing a different mask. If somebody perpetrates a terrorism-related crime, it would be absolutely impossible to identify that person. Los Angeles has a few potential terrorism targets, one of which is Hollywood Boulevard, and it is not beyond the realm of possibility to assume that a masked, draped, caped character could actually perpetrate an act of significant violence and harm against innocent citizens, and we would have no way of identifying who that person was.